Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Fishing with CP. Chris Pierce, you know the skit. Let's see what the day is. March 23rd, 2023. It is Thursday. Let's see, weather good finally. I mean, not warm or anything, but it's 50 now, high of 68, 5 to 10 winds. Water's going to be real bad, but uh, I'm expecting to catch some fish today. Uh, 5 to 10 winds, what else? pre-fishing for the Southwest Outfitters Tournament, having decided if I'm entering the KBF, KAA, and Arizona Bass Nation. But today's a pre-fish day for tomorrow, Southwest Outfitters Tournament. So um, normally I'd say best five. I'm gonna measure best five, but it's actually only best three tomorrow. And then if I fish the weekend, it's best five. So best three and best five. If we catch five, let's do the best five. All right, let's go fishing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go around over here in the Mesquite North. For a while I'm gonna throw a shallow square bill and then when the sun comes up and, and see if I can do any side fishing for beds but right now I'm gonna move some water square bills and uh, maybe spinner bait maybe chatter bait so if that didn't work I'll slow it down Let's go. all right guys here's how I'm gonna start the day I start off in the seven foot medium crankbait rod ever or excuse me lose tournament series reel 20 pound braid I'm going to start off in the flats, on these rocky flats, with the shallow square bill, shad colored. And then, that's what we're going to do for now. Move a little water. All right, nothing in the first cove. I wanted to start off in this other cove anyway, so I'm heading uh, about a half mile over to this other cove, Mesquite South. I'm gonna start with the square bill. And then once the sun gets up high enough, I'm gonna see if I can, you know, sight fish at all, but I'll move some water in here, square bill, chatterbait probably for a little bit. So when throwing a square bill, you can fish it a whole bunch of different ways. You can just burn it, and that works, especially if the water's warm. You can work it like a jerk bait. You can stop it, pop it, and you can just vary the RPM, dive it, and then it floats up. Dive it if it floats up on that pause. Like if you have a fish following it, and I bet you have a fish following it more than you think. If you pause it when it sinks or raises, that'll create a reaction bite.
Actually, it's a pretty nice one. Come on, baby. Just gonna measure you and let you go. Smallmouths are so incredible. Come on, let's get it down here. around the net to handle it. Genius. All right. Look at that. It's a good looking fish. Got him on that shaky head there. Three and a half inch chartreuse grub. So let's, let's see what he goes. I'm gonna go with 17. He's 18. 18 inches, give or take. Yeah, 17 and a half. All right, got a 17 and a half inch smallie here. Shaky head. Let's let him go. Or her go. Look how beautiful that fish is with the sun. She put up a good fight. Man, that was pretty sweet. Love Havasu. Let's get another one. Go for a highlight. Look at that thing. Another nice size one. Got him on the drop shot there. Real pretty fish. All right, got him on the drop shot right there. I say right there a lot. And it would go, so we're at, we're at 17 and a half. And now we're 17. All right, second bass of the day. Nice little smallie, probably two and a half pounder. 17 inches, out of here.
Little guy. Still mean. Actually, not so little. Probably 16, maybe 15 probably. Third fish of the day. Spawn is on. Drop shot again. Probably, probably 15 inch or here. All right, so he's 16, touching 16. So, got 17 and a half, 17 and 16. Got another bed located. It's a terrible cast to it though. Too close. Small mouth, these things are ridiculous. Jeez, didn't want any part of that. Another fourth fish of the day, another 16 incher, probably. Went away from the limit and drop shot again.
sure he's right at 16, but let's look. Yeah, 16. Alright, it's about 1.30. My back just can't take anymore. Got four smallmouth, um, 17.5, 17, 16, 16. So anyway, I didn't get the limit, but that's, that's why they call it practice day. And if, I mean, I could get a limit if I stayed out here another hour and a half and we're allowed to fish that long, but I'm ready to go in. Uh, maybe make a video tonight and be back out tomorrow for Justin's Tournament at Southwest Outfitters. If you like the video, subscribe, and if not, have a great day.